I'm just heating up a mouthpiece now to install an adapter. The adapter has been tinned. In other words, I've turned it upside down. I've put some solder on the bottom of it and the adapter's sitting waiting in some flux. So I've got some flux paste here. Flux is really important. If you want to do soldering and want it to work out well, you have to use a flux. There are different types of flux around. This is just the, the simple rosin based flux. Solder's already applied. All I'm doing is heating up the mouthpiece. That takes a little while. So I've got to get it up to a temperature where the solder will actually melt. So it usually takes about 30 seconds or so. I'm using a butane torch to do the soldering. You can see the solder's not ready to melt yet. But the rosin core has melted a little bit. Okay, that's ready. So the next thing I'll do is I'll just turn this thing around. This just stops the adapter falling off. Because the solder, when it's in a liquid form, is almost like oil. It's very slippery. So this just prevents accidents. So I'll just heat the adapter and the mouthpiece. And what we should see is the adapter should just settle down and you can see the solder sort of oozing out from the sides a little bit and then we just take the heat off and let it cool down and that's half the job the other half is to drill a hole down the middle next step is to give the mouthpiece piece a bath in some water that washes off any flux and uh, cools it down so i can handle it and then the next thing is to have a look and just inspect the solder joint just make sure that the solder is showing on all sides and usually if you can see inside a line of solder going around the outside it usually means there's a good joint of course when i polish it with a polisher uh, if it was in any way loose it would get ripped off at that stage but uh, Usually if the flux and if there's solder on and there's flux on there, it will usually just um, join straight on without any problems at all. After the soldering, we can wash the mouthpiece in some water, wash off any residue from the flux, and of course we can polish it at the end. But before we do anything, we should drill a hole. The hole I would normally drill with two drills, the first drill I'd use is a 5mm drill, that fits down the inside of the thread and we can drill using just that, so I'd use an electric drill for that handheld low speed, so I'll attach the drill now and let's have a little look at that, so if I run that in there like that. Obviously I don't want a 5mm hole through into the bore of the mouthpiece, but what it does give me is a nice conical shape on the bottom, and I can use that as a guide then for the second drill, which is a 2mm drill. So it's, it's equivalent to centre pocking you know, with a centre punch. So I'll just go through that drilling process. So two millimeter drill is what I normally use. The hole in the pickup itself is a, f a 2.5 millimeter drill. So, um, so it's slightly smaller, but for the uh, trumpet, I want to make the hole into the actual bore as small as possible. That drills the hole. Now, I usually want to make sure that the hole doesn't have any little lip on the inside. So I put the drill back in and just reverse it gently out of the hole, hopefully pulling off any little swarf on the outside. Oh, sorry, in the inside of the bore. 
we can tap that out. There's a little bit of water from the bath in there, but if I use a cotton bud, I can just clean that out and then we can get a good look at what it looks like inside. So that's it. So there's a hole in the bottom. It's all nice and shiny and that's it, ready to use. Or we can just do a final polish up to get rid of any oxidation on the outside. For polishing, I'd be inclined to use, if you've got it, a polishing compound. So I've got this thing, this stick of, it's a sort of wax with an abrasive embedded in it. Very, very fine abrasive. So it does a little bit of a cut and polish. So very small particles involved. So we can just get a rag. Use a clean part of the rag so we can see what's happening. Put some of the wax on it. And then we can give it a bit of a rub. And areas where the metal's gone a bit red from the heat, they polish away quite quickly. As you can see, it's looking a bit black now where I've given it a bit of a rub. So that indicates something's happening. So we're polishing that off. And if my hands look a bit dirty, well, this sort of work will help make them that way. And that looks nice and shiny. And we can inspect that solder joint. You can see a little bit of solder all the way around. And that's how it should be. If you do one like this and it doesn't end up perfect, the main thing is it's got to be sealed. If it's sealed without leaks, it um, doesn't matter what goes, uh, what it looks like on the outside or what goes wrong during the process, as long as it ends up with the adapter fastened on and uh, a hole in the right place, that's all that matters. If the hole's off to one side, that won't affect the sound. That's it.